Advisors Managing Partner, Ted Oakley. Ted, good morning. Morning, Cheryl. And I want to bring in our esteemed panel for the show today. I've got Polster, Miss Lansky and Partners President Lee Carter is with me. Good morning to Lee. Senior Fellow at the morning. National Taxpayers Union and Forward Strategies President Maddie Duppler is here. And former Wall Street Journal editorial board member and a good friend of the show, Stephen Moore. Guys, good morning to all of you. Good morning. Hi, Cheryl. All right, Ted, I do want to kick off the discussion with you because uh, we're obviously looking at a market that is trying to recover, but it's all about the economy. You know, we've got a $22 trillion economy that is 70 percent based on consumer spending consumption, and we don't have that right now. Is the market, do you think, getting ahead of itself right now as we see the S&P out of bear market territory? You know, Cheryl, I do. I, I think what happens on these, when you get really big cuts in the market like that, you always have a certain group of people that want to uh, catch the bottom or think they've got the bottom, that sort of thing. But these bear markets run, uh, they run a long time, but certainly a lot longer than five weeks. And so I think that's where people are probably making a mistake. But it's not, it's not unusual. It happens quite a bit. But it certainly, I think, yes, it's ahead of itself right now. And Maddie Deppler, come into this because I want to ask you that same question. There's so much talk about did we find the bottom? Maddie, was the bottom of the market March 23rd, March 24th? No one has got a crystal ball, but a lot of analysts on Wall Street seem to think that they do. <laughs> yeah, and that's their job to pretend they do, right, Cheryl, sometimes. But the thing is, we have, over the past several years, conflated the economy and the stock market. Yes, the stock market can tell us important things about the economy, but they are not one and the same. And what we know right now is that we have a public health crisis that is weighing on our economy. Until we know that that disruption that is necessary to contain the public health crisis, we know that the economy is not going to recover. So it's true that some uh, industries may be seeing a Bump. It's true that some industries may see a little bit more forward progress than others, uh, but I have to agree with our guest here. There's still probably a lot of runway until we know for sure that the fundamental problem, which is that a pandemic, which we qu don't quite have a handle on yet, is still the number right. one policy concern for the United States. Until that's solved, I don't think that we can say that we're in the clear yet. Well, and Ted, if we can look ahead to this morning, 10 a.m. Eastern time, we are going to be hearing from Fed Chairman Jay Powell. He's going to be at the Brookings Institute, and it's going to be a live, you know, live web stream. Investors are hoping that we can get some more light from him on how he sees the crisis unfolding from now. Of course, we got the minutes yesterday from the March meeting, and that showed that basically they all agreed that they had to take these drastic steps. Do you expect anything more from uh, from the Fed chairman today, Ted? Well, I don't know, Cheryl, if you're getting anything today, but I certainly do expect it. I think you'll have a lot more money coming because I think what they first put out probably won't cover it. And people probably, in general, they don't really know how bad the credit markets are right now. They're still reasonably frozen in a lot of areas. And so I, 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 I can see them uh, coming with more money over time. He may not say that today, but I think they will. Well, and also, Ted, I do want to point out initial jobless claims are coming out at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. We're going to have those live for our viewers on this show. 5.25 million is the estimate for unemployment. But I've seen ranges go up to more than 9 million. The range, like last week, is, is, a, is a very vast one. What are your expectations? Well, I know the numbers out there are five or six million. I mean, I, I, that's going to put you up at 15, 16 million now over the last three weeks. And, and I'm certain that goes, you know, goes higher. I mean, I just know too many industries where they've laid off everybody. And so you have a lot of that going on. And so the numbers take a while to get in there, but uh, it will be another big number. All right. And as far as the revision for last week, do you expect that as well? I don't know. I, I, I can't speak to that because I, I really haven't looked at re revisions for the, what I might think they would be this week. But I think the one thing that people probably misinterpret in this whole thing is really the devastation on the average average working person by the hour that's working in the restaurants, et cetera. Yeah. There's a massive devastation out there. It really is. And Stephen Moore, I want to bring you into this discussion, obviously, because it is all about the economy. And these claims are going to give us likely another rough view of what's happening in, in America. You right now, when you, when you look at the stock, what you're really seeing is the increases in uh, falls in the market the last uh, couple of weeks have been, in my opinion, 80 to 90 percent indicated by what the news uh, is on the coronavirus. So we have good news on coronavirus. We see a big rise in the stock market when we see 
depressing news about the uh, spread of the disease at the market falls. And so given what's happened in the last couple of weeks, I think that is reflecting a real sense of optimism among, among investors that we are going to potentially be able to open up the economy somewhat sooner, perhaps, than Trump is talking about. Right now he's saying, what, April 28th. Uh, if he can stick to that date, uh, and, and possibly a few days earlier, yeah. then I think you're going to see this continued euphoria. So my point is, yeah, I don't even have to look at the news about what's happening with the numbers of cases and the number of deaths and so on. It's all reflected right now in the stock market. Yeah. Well, Stephen, there's certainly going to be a lot to talk about throughout the show. You're going to be with us throughout all of it. Ted Oakley, Ted, thank you very much for joining us this early morning. We appreciate it. You betcha.